I was born in 1970. That means I was uh, in the early 1980s when VHS came on the scene and the very first video stores started popping up. And this was well before Hollywood and Blockbuster. They were mostly family owned and you had to pay a membership just to have the right to rent movies. And uh, I think I was about 12 years old and one of these opened up in my town. And I, I grew up in a very small town at that point, uh, St. Clairsville, Ohio. So it was a mom and pop operation. And I paid for a membership on my own. And my, my folks had bought the, the, the VCR, but that was mostly just to record TV. And um, it just became a ritual for me and my friends. There's three other friends that almost every weekend we would just go to the video store and we would systematically rent every movie they had. In particular, every movie we weren't really allowed to watch because we were 12 and they would let us rent R-rated movies and we figured we had we had found some sort of chink in the armor, you know, that, uh, that we're, we, were, we certainly were getting away with something we shouldn't have been able to. But we watched a ton of horror movies. We watched um, probably too many movies with nudity and I, I still apologize to my mother, but, you know, I was 12 years old. I can remember... Um, the original Evil Dead, the Bruce Campbell classic. And then there was a few movies that obviously I was watching too young um, because they would give me, uh, you know, pretty severe nightmares. <laughs> I, I, I remember watching uh, Abel Ferreira's uh, Driller Killer. I want it right there. Where? It's not really even a very good movie, but it's just his style of movie making was so... Uh, underground and dirty and visceral that there just seemed something almost illegal and, and wrong about it and which I don't know, maybe there was but uh, I, I remember that very vividly that, that that was a movie that affected me the driller killer is coming 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 but I was just a I was just a movie junkie when I was a kid but I didn't really think anything of it <laughs> My name is Tim League, and I'm the founder and CEO of Alamo Drafthouse Cinema, and I am the director of Fantastic Fest. Oh, nobody ever asked me for a kid's uh, film suggestion. I've made so many mistakes over the years. It's like, oh yeah, I'm sure that's totally all audience friendly. I don't remember anything wrong about that. And so I know myself now and I am not allowed to recommend a movie for anybody under the age of 14. Mm -hmm.